I get my groceries in the next hour, something like that. It's got my card on file and like we're ready to rock, right? So like we just reverse engineered like HelloFresh essentially. Everyone's talking about OpenAI Agent Builder, but what we should be talking about is Perplexity Comet because it is thousands of dollars in real world leverage completely for free. So what happened was Perplexity put this out a little while ago and had a million person wait list for it. It was only available for their max plan, 200 bucks a month. But this month they opened it up for free for everyone. If you run the max or pro plan, you get some extra perks. And I showed you how to get the pro plan in uh, my last video completely for free. So there's that, but we're, we're not talking about that today. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to tell you why I think Perplexity Comet is a bigger deal than OpenAI Agent. And I'm going to do that with three use cases. We're going to talk about how Comet can automate some business functions and a workflow that brought in $2,400 for me last week and a ton in pipeline. I'm not going to give the number, but huge potential. And you will see that. We're going to talk about how Comet can automate your social media because doing that is hard. <laughs> and This will save you hours of legwork. And the third one is one I'm actually super excited about, how we're going to like improve quality of life with like a day-to-day -day automation and and like i said stick around for this one because i considered hiring somebody to do this like there's services out that that do this for you but now comment makes it a no-brainer so like i said stick around for the third one because it's like it's a it's a real life game changer right, let's start with the business automation and show you how to make some money with this thing first off so i a uh, little background the very first workflow i ever used browser automation for was actually for lead generation right i wanted to reach out to people that were interested in what i had to offer okay and that hasn't changed whether it was the python scripts or manis or now comet it's all the same end and i've got a video on this particular workflow that i'll link in the description it's actually where you can find where to get perplexity pro for free for for a year as well. And I've got a lot of resources, resources, pardon me, on prompt engineering in my school community. I encourage you to check those out. Reader's Digest is we're just going to search job boards for people hiring full time for, you know, folks to do the thing that we're offering. So in my case, it's going to be social media management. So we're going to look for people hiring social media coordinators, content managers, marketing assistants, that kind of thing. And we're going to reach out to them and offer our services instead of hiring somebody on full time for the year, right? I already ran this just a second ago. So we're going to look in, search in all the stuff real time. Okay, so this is why the browser automation is so strong is because it takes your credentials and you're searching the web yourself. It's not like an automated thing that that raises a bunch of red flags and, and that kind of thing. If you've ever used Manus' browser automation, it's done with like a virtual machine as well. And it's um, it's great. Like it does the job like gangbusters. It, it goes and reasons through everything, but it it's a little bit slow and it does trigger a lot of like Cloudflare anti-automation blocks and you have to do a bunch of stuff. This keeps your credentials and then just like rolls through it's uh it's significantly improved all right so we have got it so it's pulled together all of those qualified leads based on the you know the criteria i gave it from the the job boards it looked through 41 posts that matched my criteria qualified 12 of them as you know priority leads for me to go and reach out and you know talk to and it comes in like this where you've got the where the job is posted. It's got the contact information, their LinkedIn, their email, and then it rationalizes why this was a good fit for me. You know what I mean? Like why this one over the other 41 leads, you know? So I've got 12 people I can reach out to right now and start making sales. And they're already looking for somebody with my skills. So, I mean, it makes... It makes a really powerful lead generation tool. So the beauty is you don't actually even have to sit at your computer for this to, to be beneficial. You can schedule this to run every morning and only bring in new leads as well, right? So the best way to do this is let's just go take control of my browser and schedule this particular search to run every day at 7 a.m. and send results to my email, please. And then it'll... Setting up automated daily search execution. And then you go, yeah, every day. What model? Best in-app mobile email. Perfect. Create task. Ta-da! 7 a.m. Pacific time. Delivery results will send directly to your email inbox. No further action is needed. You'll get outreach ready leads. Let's check it in tasks. Boom. I already had this going, so I just scheduled the second one. That's awesome, right? Like I said, this actually puts money in my bank account and uh, is, a, is a game changer for lead generation. It's amazing. So the next one I want to talk about is repurposing content on social media. Okay, so I'm going to use my channel as an example and we'll repurpose some of my videos for LinkedIn. I'm going to use my voice dictation instead of their dictation because Aqua Voice is like way better. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to look for content on my channel that's performing well and we're going to repurpose that into LinkedIn posts. Go to my YouTube channel youtube.com slash at the Eric Michaud and find three of my top performing videos from the last 30 days. For each video, create five LinkedIn posts with different angles. Let's say education, uh, contrarian takes, one personal story, one data insights, and one engagement question. Format them in a Google Doc with video links and suggested posting times, please. Let's go. 
Coffee, coffee, coffee. There I am. Um, I kind of like watching it take over the browser, so I'm just gonna like boop. Oh, this is the one I was telling you about where you can get uh, Perplexity, Pro, bleh, Perplexity Pro for free. Oh, you know what? I can copy paste, that's fine. Docs.new. So we've got a bunch of LinkedIn posts. Going back over this, one thing I wanna add is that if you've got Perplexity Pro, it's got access to image and video generation. So you can use OpenAI's image generator, C-Dream, Nano Banana to generate images for these LinkedIn posts as well. So, you know, just uh, another layer of awesome on top of this sort of thing. This last one I'm actually very excited about. I wanna do something kind of like off the wall, like life automation sort of thing. So I decided to reverse engineer my own like meal box plan, right? Like meal prep sort of service. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a meal plan every Sunday. We're gonna get the recipes for that. We're going to shop for ingredients and automate Instacart and we can do it all from Comet, okay? So I've got like a prompt sort of charged up here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out so I can see. Okay, so take control of my browser and execute the scheduled task every Sunday at 9 a.m. The task fall is as follows. Generate a meal plan, create a seven day meal plan, Monday to Sunday with your dietary restrictions listing here. I'm just gonna fill these all in. Okay, so I did my thing. Seven day meal plan, Monday to Sunday for family of two adults. I did dietary restrictions and preferences. I also wanna throw in a budget. Let's go $150 doesn't get me a week's worth of food. Let's go, I live in a crazy expensive city. Let's go 200 bucks a week. Uh, that would be actually awesome if we could only spend $200 a week. All right, sweet. And then let's, uh, let's roll. Cool. So we're going to create the task. I also want to run this sucker first, right? So let's like actually, oops, that's not it. Let's actually like do the thing. Go now. It's talking about what it's going to do. Instacart is already logged in. So is Walmart. Search and search and search it. All right, let's check it out. Okay, I'm gonna let this do some shopping and uh, I'm gonna come back. Oh, okay, cool, we're done. It'll cost 179, holy cow. This is like the least expensive grocery trip. All core ingredients for your seven day high protein, soy, gluten, melon, shellfish free family dinner. We're not easy to shop for. All right, so man, I'm, I'm sure you can see that this is like sick, right? I would schedule it for every Sunday and I would get the report. It'd be like, yo, your Instacart total is $179. Um, here's your meal plan for the week. Here is the recipes to knock this stuff out. And I would just go in and, you know, say yes or no, or like get rid of that last Sunday meal. I don't like tuna casserole or whatever I got to say about it. And then I would just go ahead and like book it. You know what I mean? I get my groceries in the next hour, something like that. It's got my card on file and like we're ready to rock, right? So like we just reverse engineered like HelloFresh essentially. So obviously that's awesome. I don't really need to like dig into that, but like, this this is why I think Comet is a bigger deal than Agent Builder is because with natural language, you can give it the rationale and reasoning to go through and execute multi-step processes with your credentials like it's you browsing the internet. Stuff like this was possible before, but there was all sorts of sorcery you had to pull to like get around the automation blockers and, and that kind of thing. So if you got anything from this video, please leave a like and comment. If you want to get Perplexity Pro for free, you can check out this video here. Join my community to learn how to use these sorts of tools to make money for yourself. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next one.